Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to take a look at the definition of the bronsted lorry definition of assets and bases. Now in the previous video we saw that Sventi Arrhenius came up with a simple explanation that an asset simply donates a pro, uh, the, or liberates, I should say, liberates a proton or a hydrogen ion and a base uh, liberates hydroxide ions in such a way that you end up with an excess of hydrogen ions for the acid and uh, hydroxide ions for the base. But we also realized that the end result of excess hydrogen ions and excess hydroxide ions in the aqueous solution came from other substances that in and of themselves did not donate the actual, uh, the actual proton or the hydroxide ion. Now in the case of the acids, not a lot has changed here in the new definition. So back in 1932, when Bronsted and Lowry came together, they said, you know, we need to define this differently so we can include additional substances that also act like acids and bases, and so therefore they are acids and bases. So in the case of an acid, nothing really much has changed in definition. So what we're saying here is that we have hydrochloric acid, and it's mixed with water in aqueous solution, so you end up with the hydrochloric acid donating a hydrogen ion, and so therefore we end up with what we call the hydronium ion, and with the chlorine ion as well in the aqueous solution. Now we can also write H plus instead of H3O plus, but the reason why we write it like this with the hydronium ion is because we, are, we want to indicate the definition that for an acid, a substance is capable of donating a proton. So here we show physically that the proton is donated from the hydrochloric acid to the water to make hydronium ions. And so that's just based on the definition but it's just as well to write the very same equation, just put H plus there, because that's really what we're doing here. We're separating the, hydrochlor the hydrochloric acid between hydrogen ions and chlorine ions. But from the definition, since the proton, as we call it, the hydrogen ions of proton, is donated to the water, therefore that now becomes the new definition according to Bronsted and Lowry, or Lowry's better way, better said. So let's say we have acetic acid and water. Again, what does the acetic acid do? It it takes one of its hydrogen ions and it donates it to the water to make hydronium ions and it then gives us the acetic acid, um, the acetic ion. So in the, the case of a base, it's a little bit different. With a base, we don't have the donation of a hydroxide ion. In here we have ammonia that is, we place in an aqueous solution, we mix it with water. What happens is that that ammonia now will take or accept, as we call in definition, a hydrogen ion to become the ammonium ion. So the definition for a base, according to Bronston and Lowry, is that a substance is capable of accepting a proton. So it's actually grabbing a proton away from the water and therefore turns the water molecule in a hydroxide ion and therefore by adding a, a lowry bronsted base into the aqueous solution, you again end up with an excess of hydroxide ions. And so therefore it also acts like a base even though we don't get the excess of hydroxide ions because they were donated by the base simply by accepting the proton it created the hydroxide ions in the base. And so therefore this can also be called the base because the end effect is exactly the same as if you put a substance in there like sodium hydroxide that actually donates the hydroxide ions. In this case you're creating them by pulling the hydrogens away from the, from the water to create the hydroxide ion that way. So in this case by accepting a proton away from the water molecule you're creating hydroxide ions and so that's now also an additional definition for a base. Now that didn't really replace the old definition, it just clarified the concept of what an acid and a base is a little bit better in such a way that we understand that not all acids and bases fall in the same categories or work in the same way to get the same end result. And so that hopefully gives us a better understanding what an acid and a base is.